Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Optimization. This video continues our discussion of basic optimization vocabulary. In the previous video, we covered objective functions and decision variables. This video will cover gradients, constraints, continuous variables, and discrete variables. Derivatives and gradients describe the slope of a function, whether it increases or decreases in a given direction. In multiple directions, or dimensions, this is called the gradient. Finding gradients for a function is an important part of optimization and can be accomplished in a number of ways, including analytic differentiation, numerical differentiation, and automatic differentiation. Most optimization packages include methods for finding function gradients. Constraints describe where the optimizer cannot go, or additional conditions that must be met for a successful solution. For example, when optimizing the size of a square, we could add the constraint that the lengths of the two sides multiplied together is less than 5. This is an inequality constraint. We can also add equality constraints, such as a plus b equals 10, or a times b divided by a plus b equals 3. Other examples of constraints might be a bridge with a constraint that it must hold at least 80,000 pounds, or a chemical mixture that must be at least 99% pure. Optimal solutions tend to be right up against the constraints. Picture a ball rolling downhill and encountering a wall. One important distinction to note in optimization is that between continuous and discrete, or integer variables. Many variables can be represented as a continuous range of values such as size, weight, speed, or concentration. For example, a car can go 5 miles per hour, 10 miles per hour, or anywhere in between. However, other variables can only be represented by discrete quantities such as the number of holes that should be drilled in a board, or a pipe diameter chosen from available models. These are often called integer variables. Other variables are best represented by binary values, 1 or 0, such as whether a switch is off or on. The types of variables involved in a problem affect the optimization methods that can be used. In general, optimization problems involving binary or integer variables are much more difficult than continuous problems because they produce discontinuous derivatives. In summary, gradients and derivatives describe the slope of a function and help a solver find the optimum. Constraints tell the solver where it cannot go. They often represent physical limitations of a system. Continuous, discrete, or integer and binary variables create different types of optimization problems that must be solved using different approaches. Discrete problems are often more difficult for optimizers to solve. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Follow these links for other videos on optimization topics.